So it's Saturday the 28th of January now, and I'm back in the USA after having flown from Sydney on QF7, which is the Airbus A380 operating direct from Sydney to Dallas. Once again, I used my Bad Elf GPS units to record the flight, and uh, it's a seamless log without any dropouts. I'll talk about that in a separate video because I've also got some footage from um, a couple of Galaxy tabs. But um, during this flight, I took the opportunity also to just compare the position of the wingtip to the horizon as we were climbing and I specifically requested an upper deck seat on the right hand side with a window just for these experiments and uh, I was nicely in line with the wingtip so um, what we're looking at there is just uh, my seating position looking out across the wing we're on the ground in Sydney just as we were taxiing out for takeoff now you'll notice the wingtip is significantly below the horizon uh, just discount that because when the aircraft is on the ground the wing will be flexing down under its own weight. But once the aircraft gets airborne, the wing is supporting the rest of the weight of the aircraft, so it's going to be flexing upwards. As we took off, this is at about five to 6,000 feet. You'll notice the position of the horizon. It's just cutting through the bottom of that uh, winglet. Now, as we climb further, you'll see that the horizon was definitely dropping. And as we get up to cruise altitude, and I reference it all via the um, the altimeter in the GPS, you'll see that the horizon is dropping even further. What I did, and you'll see this in the video, is I just moved the camera up and down in the window just to show that there was no perspective that was causing the change in the position of the horizon. It was actually just related to the altitude. When we're up in the cruise, you'll see just how much it has changed from originally being up here. You see there's several degrees drop as you would expect operating up at around 35, 36,000 feet. So what you'll notice with a lot of the flat earth videos that talk about the horizon rising to eye level, they don't have any accurate reference. You've got to be able to compare it to what the true level position is. And the only way you can do that is to have something like a head up display in my other video where it shows the true level. Or if you um, don't have access to that, Sitting as a passenger, measure the angle to the horizon when you're at low altitude and then do it again when you're at high altitude and you'll see exactly the same sort of deviation as, as what you're about to see in the video. When we were coming into land, just in the last part, you'll see the uh, horizon was right up near the wingtip again. So anyway, I'll just uh, play this video, you can watch it and it's uh, fairly clear evidence that the horizon actually does drop as we gain altitude. What I'm going to try and do on this flight also is just show the relative position of the horizon to the wing and uh, see if that changes from low altitude to high altitude. Now obviously uh, the wingtip is below the horizon clear there, but uh, it's not really a valid demonstration because there's no weight on the wing, so uh, the wing would be flexing down. Once we get airborne and the, the wing is supporting the weight of the aircraft, it will actually be flexing up. So uh, it's not actually a fair comparison to compare it when it's on the ground. You have to get the, the aircraft in the air. We'll take a look at it again. So we're just approaching 6,000 feet on climb after taking off from Sydney. And that's uh, about 1,700 metres altitude. If we have a look out the window, just notice where the horizon is in relation to the wingtip at this altitude. What I'm going to do is just move the camera down and up in the window. You see there's very little perspective change on the wingtip. And what I'll do again, once we're at uh, cruise altitude in the uh, 30s, 30,000 feet plus, we'll have another look at where that horizon is in relation to the wing. So now just over 7,000 feet altitude. climbed about another 11,000 feet. We're just passing uh, 18,000 feet and still climbing. 5,500 meters. And if we look at the wing now, you'll see the lower part of the winglet is now above the horizon. At lower altitude, it was actually just uh, intersecting the horizon. Again, we'll just move the camera up and down to make sure it's not just perspective causing this. lower part of the winglet is above the horizon and we're not even at 20,000 feet yet so you'll see once we get up to uh, 
the mid 30s, cruising altitude, it's going to uh, show the horizon has dropped even further. So just passing uh, 21,000 feet now on climb, 6,400 meters. We still have a good GPS lock now. What I want you to notice is that the uh, horizon is now clearly below the lower part of the winglet on the wing. And again, I'll move the uh, camera up and down in the window so you can see it's not being caused by any perspective. In the uh, previous part of the video where we were at lower altitude, the, uh, the lower part of the winglet was actually crossing the horizon. Now you can see it's clearly above. And we're not turning because we're still maintaining our direction at 069 degrees. is actually not turning. You're getting a realistic perspective of the wingtip in relation to the horizon. So we're approaching 30,000 feet now, still climbing, still low heading 069 degrees, almost 9,000 meters. And if we have a look now again at the wingtip, you'll see that the horizon has dropped even further very very obvious now. Now remember that when we first started this the horizon was there in line with that part of the uh, the winglet. Now it's significantly lower so uh, what you're seeing is actually proof that the horizon is dropping as we gain altitude and that's uh, evidence of curvature. You see as I move the camera up and down in the window it really makes no difference to the position of the horizon in relation to the wind tip. And, uh, there we go, just uh, passing 30,000 feet in a few seconds. Look how much the horizon has dropped uh, compared to the first part of this video. leveled off at 33,000 feet now. Let's have a look at where that horizon is in relation to the wing. You'll see it's significantly lower than where it was when we were flying at lower altitudes. Now the other thing to note is that uh, the GPS is showing a higher altitude of 34,000 feet and what I'll do is I'll explain that in the uh, comments of this video so if you want to know why there's a difference there I'll uh, explain it clearly. You'll also see that we're now tracking 067 that's because we're flying along the Great Circle route so our true course does actually change and uh, just for the purpose of this flight I've only put in Sydney and Dallas Fort Worth so my little app here is plotting the Great Circle route a straight line between Sydney and Dallas and you'll see we're basically on it. There's clear evidence of the uh, horizon drop there by several degrees.